the kingpin of the Western knowledge, which is Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. MIT is an institution in America that specialize on, you know, uh, biomimicry. They specialize on technology. They are the hub of technology. You might be thinking of a Silicon Valley in California, but MIT is so powerful, you know, in the whole United States. And these are the information that they are telling us today without reading the Quran by virtue of research and learning. They were talking about this world, they say, the world that we live in, this continent, the world that we live in today as we walk on this earth. They say 800 million years ago, it used to be one material earth. It used to be one. Nothing like South America, North America, you know, Asia, Africa. No, it didn't exist. There is one, one massive land which they call Pangaea. Some call it Pangaea or Pangaea. Pangaea means there was a time that the whole continent was one, surrounded by the rivers and oceans. But then again, 500 million years ago, during the Mesoratic period, there was a flashlight, maybe some orbits, some mechanism of the universe have lost their energy and they fell on the earth and it broke into two. And they called it Gondwana and Laurasia. Then Gondwana began to break. It caused Asia, South Pole, Greenland, and part of Canada. And then Laurasia, Australia, South America, Africa, this is how it began. So they, 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 they term this science that it is expanding. As we sit here right now, Africa is moving away towards Asia every year, 25 feet. It is moving. It is moving from that blasting that occurred many years ago. They used to be very close, now they're moving away. So there's going to be a time maybe 100, 500 years ago to go to America, it might take you maybe 50 hours. Who, who knows? Because the continent is moving. So they call, they call that, you know, science, the continental drift. Continental drift is a science, meaning the continent is drifting away. It's drifting and moving away from the singularity of the plates, the North American and the African plates. They are the powerful ones. They are still moving, even though the science thinks they are so very solid, but they are moving eventually. They are moving. They don't know how long it's going to, but it's still moving. And the person that hypothesized this science was called Alfred Wagner. In 1921, he postulated that the Earth is perpetually moving on its axis, that the continent are giving away themselves. So when he made those statements, his own peers, the scientists, they questioned his scholarship. In fact, they, they, they said he's a liar. But after he died many years now, science with sophisticated machinery, they are supporting the concept that, you know, um, uh, the continent is perpetually moving. Pangaea. So Allah said, وَتَرَ الْجِبَالُ تَخْسَبُهَا جَامِدَةً وَهِيَ تَمُرُّ مَرَّ السَّحَابُ You look at the earth, you look at the, uh, the earth, you think it is stationary? Allah is asking, do you think the earth is stationary? No, it moves just like the clouds move also. Who told the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? Who told him, let's agree, that is my way, that let's agree that Muhammad wrote the Quran, even though he didn't write it. We know the ayah. You, Muhammad, did not write any book. Allah is speaking. Nor did you learn from anyone. Had it been you've learned and, 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 and steady, these babblers will have a reason to doubt your book. But you didn't learn. And Nabi al-Ummi, he's never gone to school. It is an inspiration. So this Pangea, 
has been shut up. When we show them that the Quran make mention about the expanding of the earth, it is moving, you know, they were like, okay, well, maybe the Quran, you know, maybe this, they can't they, they, they can say anything. So the Quran is challenging them. Unchallengeable Quran. You can't come out with any hypothesis. This is the reason why most of the Western intellectuals are accepting Islam. They don't believe in how we believe. They want to see. They want to touch. They want to analyze. To the laboratory. Hatta until it becomes true but they have to physically analyze it and in doing that we present them with all this information and subhanallah the rate at which people are accepting Islam in America is paralyzing it's excruciating I feel so happy 